Hi guys, I'm here filming my October favorites. It's November 1st today, so I better get right to it. I'm going to start off with skincare. I have uh, two face products I've been loving. The Ola Hendrickson Truth Serum, which is my favorite new serum. I talked about this in my Sephora haul. I just put it on at night before I put on my moisturizer. It just makes your skin really glowy, uh, moisturized, plump, fresh. And it's not crazy expensive for a serum. And you can easily get to all the product in the bottle. I'm a huge fan of not only that but a lot of the Ola Hendrickson line. The other product I've discovered recently is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. So I started using this in June. I got it on Hot Look and just fell in love with it. This, the buffering lotion, they're both amazing and you can use them together. The buffering lotion is really good if you have like deep cystic acne, which I sometimes get. So, um, but this is good for all types of pimples and it works really well. It's the best spot treatment I've ever used. It's very calming because of the calamine lotion and then it has a salicylic acid, which just works the best for me. I buy it on a site called Beauty Bay now, which is from England. It's free shipping worldwide. It's relatively fast considering it comes from England. It's usually between a week and two weeks and um, it's really affordable on there and I've never had to pay duties. So if you can't find this in Canada, that's where I recommend buying it from. I wanted to go to Body Shop to get a body brush and I've become obsessed with this using it before I shower. So what I do is I brush upwards my whole body towards my heart. So when I do my arms, I actually brush downwards towards my heart, but my legs, I brush upwards. And what it does is just, it, it exfoliates. It's supposed to build circulation, makes your skin all like tingly and flushed. So like bringing the blood to the surface. Um, and it also helps with shaving because you're brushing upwards. It really gets all those hairs standing up and you get a really close shave with this to the point that I usually shave every other day, but I find that I don't have to even do that. I can shave like every fourth day even, and I barely have any hair on my legs when I do that. So if you want something that's going to help you exfoliate, just help all around with body circulation. It's supposed to help with cellulite. I mean, I've just started doing this, so I haven't noticed a big difference on that, but I'm sure it does if you use it regularly. And it's not that expensive. I think it was like $12 from the body shop. I love the pink grapefruit lip butter. I've had this for a while now, and I'm almost done it, so I went to buy a second one. And then I also decided to get the pink grapefruit body butter. So it's a similar um, color. It's like, you can see the color. There you go. Um, it smells amazing just like the lip butter, and it's not too greasy. Um, I really like to use it before bed though, just because it's very fresh smelling, so when I get into bed it's really nice. But um, it's not the best thing to use if you're gonna put on skinny jeans. It's still a little bit difficult <laughs> to do that if you're wearing that body butter. Moving on to perfume, I'm obsessed with the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt perfume. Like, love it to death, really, really want it, but it's $70 and they're completely sold out at my Jo Malone counter for the small size. So I went to Anthropology and I found this perfume. It's called uh, Smokewood. It's from Distillery. So well made. It's got this like tree print on the inside. This is like super heavy and nice. Um, and this smells like campfires. It's so beautiful. It is kind of single notey, like it's kind of like a candle smell, but um, I really love it and I think it will be great sprayed on to like your winter wool coat, sweaters, flannels, it's just really cozy. Um, it's a bit strong if you overdo it, like it might offend some people if you overdo it. But because my ideal smell in the entire world is like a forest mixed with the ocean, like if I could smell like something, that's what I want to smell like. So I'm obsessed with like sea salt smells and woody smells. I got this Ocean Eau de Toilette from Anthropology. And I basically spray one spritz of this and then one spritz of this. And this sort of smells like not so much sea salt. I would prefer it to smell like that. But it more smells like sea spray, like kind of like Dandolf Cool Water, if you remember that perfume. So it's not perfect, but it works well enough for now until I can convince myself to spend the money on the Jo Malone and it's in stock. So yeah, love, love, adore this smoke wood. They also have another one from this company called Dandelion, which is beautiful. 
at Anthropology. These are $27. And then mixed together with this, I am really liking it, although I probably wouldn't buy this on its own. This was $12. Moving on to makeup, all my favorites I'm actually wearing today. I don't know if you'll be able to see everything, but I'll start off with my lipstick, and it is the Makeup Forever sample that comes with the Sephora birthday gift. It is number 6N, and I showed this in my Sephora haul. It's just a it's kind of like a medium toned pinky brown and I just think it's a nice darker pink color that works with my skin tone and isn't too intense it's kind of 90s it's really subtle I really really like it and it's very easy to apply it's moisturizing and yeah you don't even need like a mirror on my eyes I am wearing my new favorite combo which is actually construction vis paint pot and you can see how old this is because it's pulling away from the sides I've had this for years um, at first I didn't really like it because it was very dark, but now I think it's dried out a bit so it's less intense. And I just put it on with a really hard shader brush and put it all over my lid. And then I go over it with a similar toned brown eyeshadow. It's usually Buck from Urban Decay, but today I use this one from Smashbox. It's called Brazilian Bronze. Um, and that just kind of sets it because it will crease a little bit. Next favorite would be the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I talked about this again in my Sephora haul. I got the color taupe and I have been loving to use it. I have it on my brows today. The one thing is I don't like to put it on too heavy. One, it looks too intense for me. I feel like my eyebrows are already quite strong. Um, so it can look like I'm angry. And then two, um, because it's the taupe, so what I do is I put it on and then I um, use a spoolie to kind of brush off the excess. So it looks a bit more natural, not as heavy, and doesn't look as gray. My last makeup product is what I have on my cheeks and as my highlight and my bronzer. It is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette, and it is in the color Streak, which is the peach toned one. Um, I just bought this. It's not in my Sephora haul. It's a huge mirror right here. And then this is the color tones. So you have the peach blush, the highlighter, and the bronzer. This is basically, I wanted something like Coralista. This is a bit deeper. It's more pink than Coralista. It's darker, but it's not as glittery. Um, you can see here, it's just a nice flush color. It's very natural on the, on the cheeks. Bronzer is really great. It's a very pale bronze, golden color sort of like Hoola, but more golden, less dark, and has a tiny bit of shimmer. So it's not that great for contouring. Hoola's better, but um, this is great if you just want a little bit of glow to your skin, because I find that bronzer usually makes me just look like I have dirt on my face. And then the highlighter is gorgeous. That a little bit better. It's very, very similar to MAC Soft and Gentle. It's almost identical, actually, in the tone. The one thing that makes this one better is it this one is a lot creamier it's just like an urban decay eyeshadow so yeah I love the naked urban decay flushed palette and there are different versions of this depending on if you want like a peachy based one a pink one etc etc I'm gonna talk about my favorite earrings which are the ones I am wearing and they are my little thunderbolts um, I bought a second pair even because I love them so much and they are from Bang Bang for Urban Outfitters. They did a collaboration. They had a bunch of different dainty jewelry but the Thunderbolt earrings are my favorite and these were $29 here in Canada but they have gone on sale to $9.99 which is why I bought the second pair because I'm so obsessed with these that if I lose them I think I might cry. One other favorite to show you. Huh? That's a little baseball reference. But I'm wearing this over one of my favorite trends, which is the sheer black lace kind of look. I love it. It's very Halloween-y and witchy. It's very big on free people and their, and their styling. This is where I got this lace dress. So it has long sleeves, and then I have it underneath this t-shirt. But you can see it's a mini dress. It has this great ruffly hem. Um, it's kind of... Uh, uneven which is really cute and I love it paired with stuff on top because the the top of it is completely sheer if you can see that here so it's a sweetheart neckline and it's like a skater s skater dress kind of style if you wanted to um, wear it on its own you could just wear it with a dress underneath or a slip but I like it with like something oversized kind of layered on top because I think it sort of makes it less girly and kind of toughens it up a little bit um, this t-shirt obviously is probably not the best thing. I would wear it with something um, kind of more flowy because then it goes with the flowiness of the skirt. 
but I wanted to wear this t-shirt just to represent today. I love the look with a big oversized sweater. This is a cashmere blend sweater from Aritzia. It's paired over a lace dress that is long. Um, and I love this look. It's super sexy. You could wear this out at night, but because it's quite subtle, you could also wear it in the day. And in the daytime, what I would do is pair it with chunky boots, either over jeans or over leggings or over thick tights. If you wanted to wear it at nighttime, just over a mini skirt and leave the legs bare and then you could see the sheerness of it. You can see with the sweater on top, just the little hem peeks out. And I just think that's super cute. Obviously, I wouldn't have the t-shirt on underneath. So it wouldn't be um, see-through like that, but that's how I would wear it. And then you can pull the lace sleeves out, and it kind of looks like you're wearing gloves, which I really like. And yeah, I just think it's really pretty. So that's something I've been obsessed with. Another way to get the look is to use like a sheer vest. This is a crochet long maxi vest, which I've been obsessed with maxi sweaters. And you can just throw this on top of anything, obviously. Maybe not on top of everything I'm wearing at the moment since I'm wearing like six layers. But you can just throw it on top of anything and then um, it just like gives you this sheer illusion on the back. And what I really like about this is wearing it um, over like a basic t-shirt or tank top, jeans, or even like denim shorts in the summer and then having the sheer kind of float behind you and then you can put like a jacket on top. It just gives a nice layer of interest and texture. First are these plaid sneakers. They're from Hanes. I actually got these at the thrift store for $3.50 and I'm obsessed with them and I wanted to put these on here. One, because I just love the plaid, but I want to know if anyone knows where I can buy these. Hanes her way, green and blue plaid, like kind of kids like shoes you can find these for me in an eight and a half I will pay you for them yeah I'm, I'm obsessed and then the other shoes are a longtime favorite of mine they're the vagabond grace they are platform um, Chelsea boot they have um, this is like the new buck leather um, and then they just zip up on the inside they have a rubber sole which is super comfortable it absorbs a lot of the shock so they're easy to walk in the one thing is they are very heavy so if you're walking far, your feet you'll just feel tired. Like I, I walked all across the city and my feet didn't hurt at all, but I felt like really tired because I was lugging these around. I've been trying to get these for so long. They're always sold out. Um, they have them on Soulstruck, but I got mine on UrbanOutfitters.com. Last clothing piece is my buy of the month. I haven't actually worn this out yet, but I bought this coat I'm at the Gap, and um, I'm obsessed with it. So it is a moto fleece jacket. I'm going to step back. It's basically a inspired by from the acne shearling, which I am crazy obsessed with. If you follow my blog or my Tumblr, I posted a lot about it last winter. And it's got this great oversized fit. This is a size small and you can see how oversized it is. All fleece on the inside. There are so many bad reviews on this coat saying it's like too big, blah, blah, blah. Like if you want it to be fitted, yes, it's it's big. But it's supposed to be like this. Like it's supposed to be like the acne. It says it's navy, but I mean, it looks, it looks just like a light black. I cannot wait to wear it, and considering it snowed last night, I think I'm going to be wearing it very soon. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys soon.